When customers take the time out of their day and give feedback on your product or service, you need to show your appreciation. It's the building block for any great customer relationship. And as with anything, it's easier to follow a step-by-step -step guide rather than improvise. I'm Sabina, a content manager at Servicate. I'm going to give you a cheat sheet on how to make customers feel appreciated after they, well, give you tips on how to get more money out of them. Here's how we're gonna do this. I will give you five goals and five tasks to go with those goals. Use your best judgment to decide which tasks should be performed on which customers. There will be too many great tips to exercise on every customer. Here we go. Acknowledge. Respond to customer feedback quickly, thank them for their input, and express gratitude. Communicate something along the lines of, thank you for taking the time to give us your feedback. Someone is already working on insights to make sure your customer experience just keeps getting better and better. Imagine you filled out a survey about your recent customer experience. Wouldn't it be nice to know that someone actually read it and is acting on it? With the right tool, you can actually do this for every customer. So what is the task? Set up a system to monitor and track customer feedback regularly, ensuring prompt responses. If you choose Servicate, you can add an end screen to all of your surveys to communicate this message. Number two, personalize. Tailor your thank you message to customer specific feedback, showing that you've taken it seriously. This is really great for ideas that you know you will implement. Think of a bug that a customer noticed before you did, or a new feature like a filter for products you didn't know you needed, or some button not working, or a link that takes you to the pricing page instead of the help center. The task, create templates for thank you messages, but customize each one to address the specific feedback provided. With Servicate, you can use information recalling to make the response personal. For example, if a customer replied to this question asking what can we improve, you can use information recalling to include their answer in your thank you screen. Number three, share improvements. Inform customers about the specific changes or improvements you've made based on their feedback, showing that their insights were valuable. You can do this on your website, somewhere like a product updates page or your social media. Task, prepare a report or update, summarizing the improvements made based on customer feedback and share it with customers. Number four, reward. Offer a token of appreciation, such as a coupon, discount or loyalty points to customers who shared their feedback. But make sure this is available to everyone, not only customers who replied in a specific way. Task, develop a system to identify customers who have submitted valuable feedback and generate unique rewards or offers for them. This can be made easier by integrating your Salesforce account with a customer feedback tool and working from there. And number five, encourage reviews. You can encourage your customers to leave online reviews by showing them how beneficial this is for your business. Task. Include a clear call to action in your thank you message, encouraging customers to leave a review on relevant platforms. But don't include this for every customer. You don't want to encourage unsatisfied customers to share their reviews publicly. You have to use survey logic to weed out the customers who are disgruntled for whatever reason. We actually have a template for this. The survey logic is all set up, so just customize the appearance to fit your brand. When customers give you feedback, it's basically them giving you tips on how to make them stay longer. It's important to make them feel heard and appreciated, otherwise they may feel like they've just wasted their time. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe.